praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is Evangelist Brenda Thompson coming to you today. Today I greet you in no other name than in Jesus' mighty name. The title of my message to you today is a prayer for promotion. My message is taken from Psalms 75, verse 1 to 10, and my reference is 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 7 to 10, and Psalms 65, verse 1. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Unto thee do we give thanks for that thy name is near thy wondrous words. Declare. When I shall receive the congregation, I will judge uprightly. The earth and all the inhabitants thereof are dissolved. I be of the pillars of it. And I said unto the fools, deal not foolishly. Unto the wicked, lift up, lift not up the horn. Lift not up your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck. For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red, it is full of mixture. And he pour it out of the same, but it drinks thereof. All the wicked of the earth shall run them out and drink them. But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Psalm 65 verse 1. Praise waited for thee, O God, in Zion, and unto thee shall the vow be performed. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 7 to 10. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich, he bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggars from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces, but out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king, and exalt the horn of his anointing. Father, I come to you today in Jesus' mighty name. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that this message will be a blessing to every person under the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 1 represents the voices of thanksgiving. We all have many reasons why we give God thanks. The fact that he got up today, the fact that we are in our right mind and have food and shelter, 
is enough to give the Lord voices of thanksgiving. Verse 2 to 5 represents the reason for God's judgment. And verse 6 to 8 describes the terms and condition of our promotion. In verse 6, it speaks about our promotion and the source of our promotion. Don't look for your promotion to come from your boss because it is not coming. From the east, neither the west, the north, nor the south, but it is coming from God. Why? In verse 7 shows us the reason for our promotion. Who is the boss? Verse 7, it says that God is judge. My reference is 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 7 to 10. Verse 8 is an expression of God will do what is necessary to promote justice and judgment because God is a righteous judge. We must have faith in the Lord. He sees and he knows. In verse 10, it's an expression of God's judgment of injustice and oppression. Today I would like to encourage you to have faith in God. He will come true for you. Today I would like to pray a prayer for promotion and change. Father, I come to you in no other name than in Jesus' name. I pray a prayer for promotion, a prayer for change, a prayer for deliverance, a prayer for breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I come to you in no other name than in Jesus' mighty name. I pray a prayer for change, a prayer for promotion, a prayer for deliverance for your people. I ask all these mercies and all these grace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.